Wow, Caroline's getting ready to rip it down a 17th hole here at Geneva National, the Palmer Golf Course. You're scaring me now. Okay. All right, all right. Down, right. I'll down. cool it down. I'll cool it down. <laughs> this is the new orange whip light speed. And man, if you want to add some distance to your golf game, huh? It's a good workout, too. It, it is a good workout. You it really is. You're a little hard after all yes. that, huh? It's great for speed training, though, and, and for, you know, for people that want to add some distance. And, you know, it has some similarities to the orange whip, but uh, it'll help you gain a lot of, and you gain some miles per hour in your golf swing is what you need to hit a little bit further. So orange whip, light speed, awesome. All right, speaking of the driver. So if we want to hit a good driver, which she claims to be a very good driver of the golf ball. Oh, you better watch out, right. Jimmy. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's tee one up right, real quickly here. So if you want to drive the golf ball very well, you have to be able to sync up your arms and your body at the same time. What I'll typically see when someone takes the golf club away, and go ahead and set up to it, Caroline, is they'll go ahead and turn back, and I'm going to allow you to turn back to right here. And they do an okay job right here. As you can see, Caroline's body moved with their arms and her hands, which is pretty good. We're in a good position right here. What I normally see out of most amateur golfers at this point though, is they just lift their arms up from here because they want to get that thing to parallel. They want to create all that speed, right? Like we were with the orange whip. And their body and their arms fall out of sync because now my body stopped turning, my arms are back here. So if I go ahead and start turning down, my arms are way lagging back, her body's way out here in front, this club face is behind. So what I want you guys to all work on, set, let's set up to it, is when we take the golf club away, if your body moves, there you go, your arms move. Now from here, the big key is we also still want Caroline to rotate her body to get it to the top. So now it rotates to here. So see, if you watched her club right there, the whole time that her body moved, her club moved also. It didn't move independently at all. She never stopped her turn and lifted her arms. So let's do it one more time. So what I want you to feel is, Let's go to here, good, good position from here. Now from here, instead of just lifting the arms, I want you to turn it back from there. Good, so she still turns her arms and rotates. And now the key from here is that her arms, when she unleashes it, will still stay in front of her body and be able to stay square when she gets to the golf ball. What I want you to do is I want you to take that driver, I want you to stick the grip right into your stomach, just like this and grip all the way down. Let's go, there we go, all the way down from here, I want you to lift it up. A good drill to help you to do this is put it there, turn away, Good. See how she has to move her body when she moves her arms right there. Then from there, she can go ahead and rotate up if she wants to. But the key is get, there you go, is to get that feeling. Now when she goes back down, it'll stick right back into her stomach here, and then she can rotate through and get to the golf ball. So a really good drill right here to do that is just stick it into your stomach and feel it. Can you feel that motion? No, I really can Because watch when she does it. Look, her weight gets over her right side, her body gets over her right side, and everything moves together. And that left yeah. shoulder is still behind the ball. Yep. So, so many players, Caroline, can just, just throw it all away in the first, you know, 12 inches of their golf swing by let, taking it back with their arms and not allowing everything, the arms and the body, to work together. Yeah, it's a great tip, and it's something that I work on actually all the time in my own game. Yep, losing power because things aren't working together. Let me see a C1 work together here. Let her fly. Oh, that was crushed. It's that orange whip, Jimmy. It's the orange whip. It must <laughs> the, be. The light it speed, must huh? Be. <laughs> All right, folks. When we come back, we're going to have Mark Gronowski from TRT. She's too young. She doesn't know what body paint.